This is a basic video about acropora anatomy and all that you need to know at the hobbyist level. Having this basic understanding will be helpful when reading or hearing descriptions of acropora. Stay tuned until the end of the video to hear about some interesting acropora facts. Let's start off with this picture here, taken from the Australian Institute of Marine Science website. This picture well illustrates a bunch of individual coralites. A coralite is a skeletal cup or tube that is made by an individual polyp. A grouping of identical polyps make up a colony. Acropora actually has two different types of coralites, axial coralites and radial coralites. Axial coralites are at the end or apex of branches or branchlets. You will more often hear reefers talking about the color of growth tips rather than specifically mentioning axial coralites. Radial coralites, on the other hand, are at the sides of the branches or not at the branch tips. Hobbyists often mention radial coralites, however we often leave out the word radial and just call them coralites. For example, reefers would simply say that this coral has yellowish green coralites. As you can see, axial and radial coralites differ in their location, structure, and size. But they are not restricted to their original form forever. For example, radial coralites can become axial coralites, and while they are in this intermediate development phase, they are called incipient axial coralites. How about a quick exercise? For a lot of Acropora, it's easy to identify the two different types of coralites, but the smooth skin Acropora can be a bit more challenging. Luckily, in this example, the two different coralites are mostly color coded. The axial, as well as the incipient axial coralites, display this nice lavender color, while most of these small pocket like radial coralites are beige. I have to say though, when you look at the periphery of the colony, the distinction between radial coralite and incipient coralite is a bit blurred. There is another part of the Acropora that deserves mention, and that's the Coenosarc. The Coenosarc is the living tissue overlying the flat stony skeleton of the coral, and is the tissue you see between the coralites. This is what many hobbyists often refer to as the skin or body. The Coenosarc can show distinct coloration, so when you hear a hobbyist talking about the color of the skin or body of an Acropora, this is what they're referring to. By the way, Coenosarc is responsible for transporting food and water between the individual polyps and is the tissue through which the individual polyps in a colony communicate. Now it's time for some cool facts about coral growth. Both polyps and Coenosarc are responsible for laying down calcium carbonate under the Coenosarc but only the polyp is responsible for depositing calcium carbonate in the floor of the coralite, which it must do if it doesn't want to get buried in its own skeleton. Let's switch back to anatomy and show some examples to reinforce what we just learned and bring it back to the hobbyist level. There are some corals that have same colored radial and axial coralites, such as the lavender on this ARC fireworks acro, while the skin or body is a dark purple. Even though the coloration of the radial coralites can sometimes be subtle, it seems that a lot of Acropora display the same color at the growth tips and as well as the coralites. The classic and beautiful ORA Red Planet is a good coral to talk about the Coenosarc or skin of the coral as us reefers like to call it. Often you will see, especially at the lower inner parts of the colony that receive less light, the skin displays a nice green color while the upper parts of the skin that receive more light are red. The last example is the Vivid Rainbow Delight which is a brilliant display of colors. Here you can see that this coral has different colored polyps depending on the location. Polyps at their growth tips are white while the polyps at the radial coralites are red. There's a lot of cool color variation in the skin or body of this beauty. Near the growth tips, the skin is blue. As you go inward, the skin becomes cream colored and even green as you go further inwards. To top this off are some really nice purple, radial, and axial coralite tips. 
So hopefully that gets everyone on the same page when it comes to describing Acropora. I think most people know what the growth tips are, but when someone mentions Coralites, it may not be entirely clear to everyone that they are actually referring to the radio coralites. And as promised, here are two interesting facts about Acropora. Did you know that with over 149 species of Acropora identified, that only three species of Acropora exist in the Atlantic Caribbean area? With only one exception, Acropora are the only corals to have axial coralites. Do you know the one exception? It's branching Cyphastria or Cyphastria decadia. Thank you for spending some time with us. Hit that like button if you picked up some useful bits of coral anatomy and physiology. And hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the video and want to come along on our reefing voyage.